Well, good morning. This week's Monday Meditation. We're going to wrap up our selected scripture readings through Romans that speak to us about what's known as the doctrine of sanctification or our daily uh, victory over sin. How the Lord conforms us, makes us look more like Jesus uh, in this life now. So if you've trusted Christ as your Savior, you know all too well that you still battle sin. There's still temptations and, but the Lord has given us everything we need to live and to walk in victory. And, to, and he's making us look more like Jesus. And so we have been reading in Romans around this most crucial doctrine. And so this morning I want to share with you Romans chapter 8 verses 1 through 13. And I trust there will be a challenge and an encouragement to you as you begin your week. There is therefore now no condemnation to those who are in Christ Jesus who... Do not walk according to the flesh, but according to the Spirit. For the law of the Spirit of life in Christ Jesus has made me free from the law of sin and death. For what the law could not do, and that it was weak through the flesh, God did by sending His own Son in the likeness of sinful flesh. On account of sin, He condemned sin in the flesh. That the righteous requirement of the law might be fulfilled in us, who do not walk according to the flesh, but according to the Spirit. For those who live according to the flesh set their minds on the things of the flesh, but those who live according to the Spirit, the things of the Spirit. For to be carnally minded is death, but to be spiritually minded is life and peace. Because the carnal mind is enmity against God, for it is not subject to the law of God, nor indeed can be. So then, those who are in the flesh cannot please God. But you are not in the flesh, but in the Spirit, if indeed the Spirit of God dwells in you. Now, if anyone does not have the Spirit of Christ, he is not his. And if Christ is in you, the body is dead because of sin, but the Spirit is life because of righteousness. But if the Spirit of him who raised Jesus from the dead dwells in you, He who raised Christ from the dead will also give life to your mortal bodies through his Spirit who dwells in you. Therefore, brethren, we are debtors, not to the flesh to live according to the flesh. For if you live according to the flesh, you will die. But if by the Spirit you put to death the deeds of the body, you will live. And so in these verses, the Apostle Paul is clearly saying to us, that we are no longer to live our lives walking in the flesh, or rather living out sin, letting sin have dominion, letting sin have the rule in our lives, but rather by the Spirit we say no to sin, we put to death our sinful desires, and we walk in newness of life. We walk in the Spirit, which is the Spirit of life. And so we have the Holy Spirit of God living within us, who enables us, by His grace, to say no to sin, to put sin to death in our lives, and then we can walk in victory. And that, those verses really summarize nicely what it means to be sanctified, what it means to live out the new life in Christ. And so it's my prayer that as we've gone through these selected passages, that they've helped give you strength and grace and courage to face sin and to walk in victory over your sin because Jesus defeated sin when he died on the cross, defeated death and sin when he rose from the dead, and if you know him, you got to live in those realities. And I trust this week you'll do just that. Have a great week.